Well, the wiring harness is no longer spread out across the table. It's over there in the car, mostly finished and kind of temporarily put in place so I can see where everything's going to fit. And it looks like I've done a good job of making it fit so far. Still got a few things to finish on it, but it's getting there. What I'm going to work on today is the accelerator pedal. This is what I've got and the amount of space I have up underneath the dash is not very much more than this as far as right in this area. And this is what I have to put in there. So it's going to be a little uh, trimming and fitting to make that work. So what you need as a th for a throttle pedal is something to put your foot on. What the motor needs is just this little sensor and this wire, which I also have to lengthen about five or six feet so it'll reach the engine in the back of the car. All I have to do is get this to rotate as the pedals push down. My plan right now is to make this fit up underneath the dash, cut this off here because the offset of this is the wrong direction. It'll run into the heater box if I use the original mount holes. I'm going to cut this pedal off and weld it to this after I cut this arm off. But we'll see how all that works. I've already taken one of the springs off this to get a little less pressure on the pedal. It uh, feels more like a car now than a truck with just one spring on it. And then it'll still have this second safety spring. The plan right now, as I look at it, is going to be to drill these three rivets out right here and pull this whole shaft out of here so I can get this spring out of here. And I can cut this off and either bend this up or cut it completely off. I will probably try to bend it up and see how well that fits in there. I'm going to start with the one that's easiest to get to right there. Actually, I can get a lot straighter on that than I thought I could. All right, here goes nothing. I have never done this before, so I don't know how this comes apart or how that's going to slide out. That looks to me to be snapped into the hole a little bit, so we'll see what happens when we just push over on it. The whole thing just scooted right over, nice and easy. All right. This still seems to be a bit stuck. Nice and loose now. All right. I'd like to get this bushing and spring out of my way, which there we go. I got it. All right. That bushing had to drop back into that hole in the center in order for this to clear. Now I get that out of the way, that out of the way, gives me more room to work with and I can kind of see what's going on in here. Um, all right, there doesn't appear to be any spring pressure or anything like a spring coiled inside of here. So this, I believe, is going to slide off of here and not have anything shoot off into space when it slides off the end. So I'm gonna work it off the end and yep, it's completely hollow inside. It's just a bushing for it to ride in. Now the pedal's out of my way. Now I got that free to make it any size and shape I want it to, to put in the car. And I've got this out so I can cut it off and yeah, throw all the bushings on the floor before I check and see which way they laid. I think I can get that back together after I'm done working on it, maybe. Put all of these parts in a bag so they don't disappear. I cut out this template so I'd have the footprint of my throttle pedal for fitting up underneath the dash when all this was together. It was just a whole lot easier. These are the two holes I need to mount it to on the firewall. What I'm going to do is move those two holes up like that. Just drill one new hole in this 
and I believe that's going to work. We'll see how that works out for me. Now nothing to do but start trimming on it and trying to make it fit. Cut it right along there. Bend it right about here at an angle that is yet to be determined. And of course the goal here is to still be able to count to 10 once I get through cutting this off. Plug the saw in. I've screwed a couple of studs into the holes rather than using bolts. It'll make it easier for me to line it up. And I've slid a couple nuts over the top of the studs to get some spacing to clear the sound deadening. And now that I've done all that and drilled my holes to get it to go in, I believe it's going to fit without bending this bottom part. So I'm going to try putting a couple of nuts on that and tighten them down and see if it sits in there anywhere near square. All right, luckily the plug sticks away from the firewall. And there's something like that right there. It's going to clear. All right. Swap over from my other cut. Yes. That should work. So it appears we have a little bit of a problem. We're not going to be able to get a wrench on the top of this bolt to put this in. So we're going to have to move this hole over and down a little bit. And the same with the top one. I've re-drilled my holes. And now I have room to get a socket and a nut down in there and put it all together. And, uh, well, let's see how it fits in the car now. All right. Well, that looks pretty good. And a little adjustment to make it fit. This is what I did to get the original positioning of the pedal. I put it all in place, clamped it with a pair of vice grips, and just put a couple of little tiny spot welds on it, pulled it out, and then I welded it. Nothing to do now but assemble it and put it in and see if it actually works. Uh, kind of left you out on the 14 times that I put it in and took it back out, took it apart, put it back together to get this welded in position like it is. But you didn't need to see all of that anyway. That was uh, a lot of fun crawling under the dash and all that stuff. So I'm just going to put it back together, put it in, see how it looks. This goes on this way over. I thought it went on the other way over originally. The clearance on that spring right there to that arm is just pure luck. I didn't even think about that. I was kind of planning on this being either lower down or on top of this, but worked out perfect. Lucky. Stay. Stay. All right, get this in here. The right way, there we go.
all the way down. I'm gonna slip and stab myself here in a second. Got it. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna put three rivets through that. Probably just uh, pop rivets. They'll clear on the back side. These look like they'll work. They're a little small in the hole, but they're big enough. Pull the end off the rivet. This rivet tool has done that to a few of these rivets already. Hoping I get it to break off down in the hole where it's supposed to break. It did. All right, now the question is, is it the rivet or the riveting tool? We will try it with the air riveter and see if the rivet falls apart on the stem. Whoops. No wonder it wouldn't go through. That's the threaded hole. Well, I think it's the tool that does it. I don't think it pulls evenly enough for these aluminum rivets. Because we put a lot of rivets in with this tool and not had them break. So that thing might pull a little bit crooked and make the rivet snap off. I don't know. All right, let's put this thing in here. It should fit. And it fit before, so it should fit now. And here we have it installed. And there's enough room to put the tip of my finger underneath there with that thing all the way down, so there's room for carpet underneath of it. And there we have it, it's installed. Seems like it's gonna work. Zoom, zoom. All I gotta do now is hook some wires up to it, and run them back over here to my uh, temporary panel and hook them to something over there. All right, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.